there how's it going everybody it is late september 2020 we're going to talk about new jersey payroll that's right how do we do it i'm going to tell you let's talk about it this is the payroll and excel program that i've created i advertise it as the least expensive greatest payroll program in the universe and i'm going to continue doing that until i get sued it's really awesome so let's talk about it this is our employee information sheet. You're going to need to enter information about your New Jersey payroll people. Let's say that the situation, maybe he's out of prison. Did he go to jail? I don't know. He was on one of those shows, Jersey Shaw, right? Let's say that he's working in New Jersey, right? And not just hanging out on the beach. You're going to have to ask him, well, did you fill out a W-4 prior to 2020? If you did, yes or no, if you did, you know, if you didn't fill out the 2020 W-4, you have to put in your allowances from the previous year's W-4. But if you did fill out a 2020 W-4, we're going to ask you, are you married? How many New Jersey state allowances do you have? What state are you in? Of course, New Jersey. And here under the state filing status area, this is what's unique about New Jersey's income tax rates is that there are five different tables. They are rate A, B, C, D, and E. Let's take a look at the New Jersey W-4 to show you what I'm talking about. The New Jersey W-4 right here, as we are talking about, is going to ask you what your status is, and it's going to ask you, are you using one of these tables down here? This is really what the W-4, the New Jersey W-4, is looking for, is there's a grid over here to figure out, well, which table should you be using? There are these five different tables, A through E. Most people are going to be filling out just a simple single or married filing jointly, so they're probably going to be using table A or table B. But as you go through the instructions here, you figure out which table you're using. And once you figure that out, you're going to choose that from your state filing status, whichever table it is. And once you do that, then you go over to your daily entry sheet. You fill out your hours and everything. Then you go over to your pay period record sheet, and we can show you how this impacts a paycheck and how the tax rates are computed. So once you figure out how much money your, your employees made for the week, or in this case, we're looking at a bi-weekly version right now, every two weeks, we have all these different um, ways, different tables to figure out exactly what the withholding is going to be. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to annualize the wages. So you're going to want to take whatever the wages were for the pay period, as I was mentioning before, in this version, this is a bi-weekly pay, uh, pay file right now. So that means 26 pay periods for the year, every two weeks. So 52 weeks in a year. So 26 is the pay period number. So you'd multiply whatever the gross wages are times 26 in this instance. And then you would subtract out how many New Jersey allowances they have. In this case, there are state allowances of one right here. You would subtract out that times a thousand. It's a thousand dollars for each allowance. So you annualize your your wages and then you subtract out your exemptions or allowances essentially, a thousand each. Once you get that, you're going to apply these different tables. I have A, B, C, D, and E. I have all tables potentially calculated to figure out what the tax would be depending on which table the person applies to. But it's just a nested if formula. Uh, let's open it up a little bit. You know, if the tax amount is less than zero, you're going to withhold nothing. If it's less than twenty thousand, you're going to take fifteen. Uh, sorry, one point five percent. If it's less than thirty-five thousand, you're going to add three hundred dollars plus the amount of wages minus twenty thousand times two percent. There's a whole nested if I can paste it in the comments if anybody requires it. But um, you do you essentially simulate whatever the taxes that would be withheld for all the different five rate schedules because there are five of them as they are shown down here, right? This is the annual way to do this for rate A, annual way to do it for, for rate B, annual for rate C, all the different types of rates that they have. Then you figure out which one actually applies. So this person's a rate A. If they were rate B and changed it to rate B, then it would be this number that gets pulled over here. And that's the final amount of tax that's going to be withheld. So it's not too bad. It's New Jersey. It's the Garden State. Um, you would potentially need to do five different formulas to figure out what the tax withheld should be. But with this Excel file, you can just type in your wages and choose whatever the parameters are for your employee, and it's automatically done for you. You end up with a paycheck that looks like this. Simple and easy. So that's New Jersey. It's five times harder than it should be, 
but it's certainly not that difficult. So once you figure out which rate table you need to apply, you're going to be good to go. So if you're interested in this payroll file, you can go to kenbraverman.com. I will have a 50 state version very, very soon. We are like 30 some states into this already. We'll definitely be here by 2021, probably by the end of the year. So uh, if you're interested in 100 bucks, like I said, cheapest payroll solution on the face of the universe. The universe is probably round, so it's not really a face that it would have. But the point is, is uh, I'm going to keep saying that because I believe it to be true. So everybody, payroll should be easy, so let's make it so.